Hey Maxlin community, welcome back to the shop. It's been a few weeks since I've checked in with you on how the van progress is going. And since I've seen you last, I've drilled some major holes into my van, including these beautiful windows behind me. I have been posting over at my new channel called Life with Lee, which I invite you to join me over there. You can get caught up on the videos here or here, wherever they go. And today I'm gonna to bring you along for a day in the life at the shop of building my van, as well as the other projects we have going on here. Come along for the day. I mean, this is Clover. You guys met her last time, but she's the most important player at the shop. Okay, and here is the progress since you've seen it last. Two beautiful, bigger than bunk, bunk windows. I finished my sun floor, put in the wheel wells here. These guys actually fully open, which is pretty cool. Check that out. Where I'm at today is I just started running these furring strips behind me up here. I'm gonna be putting furring strips on the wall as well as deciding where the electrical is gonna go. I'm trying to decide on insulation. Um, I'm leaning towards spray foam, thinking about doing it myself with the help of my crew here, um, but a bit nervous as it is very permanent. Uh, wool's a great option, however it is on back order. And yeah. So many little decisions going into a day-to-day -day process here. We have Matt and Missy coming in. And this is my all-time favorite little friend, Frankie. Hey girl, say hi to the vlog. Hi Frankie. To give you reference, this is my hand and this is her, her head. <laughs> Someone's going to rip some waves. <laughs> my fake surfboard. Yeah, but this is like the nicest fake surfboard there is. Yeah. What you doing, sir? Procrastinating, talking to Wooly Bear about racing, board shaping, Hawaii. Nice. Spending time in the tropics without sunscreen. Don't do that. that. This van's getting close to finish, but we had a mysterious thing happen with the window the other day. Joe came in this morning. He's like, hey, what happened to the van window? Like, what do you mean what happened to the van window? I parked it last night, left, everything was fine. And apparently it exploded overnight. Scoot gone? Ah. Ah. Yeah, thanks. Nice. So the whole point of the furniture strips here is because I'm gonna be doing overhead cupboards all the way along. And we started putting in some rib nuts, which are actually really cool and handy. They go in and then they expand on the inside. The very real and unsexy part of building a van is all the time spent staring at the wall. a little bit too much to the left. So. I'm going. I'm slightly. So I've just completely messed up putting up a base board on the wall. I, I was over tightening my rib nuts, which you rib nuts, which we can't do because then it bends out of shape. Okay, let's make just tighten it perfectly. Okay, Look, so... Everything's fixable. Yeah. See, that must be... It must be the square. Because I didn't over-tighten that one at all. Woo! Okay, great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? How is that? Drill bit for my hand. I should be wearing gloves. Building. 
building is fun, they said. Lunchtime, Clover's favorite time of the day. And she hates to be pat while she's begging for food. Don't touch me, I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay. Stop the work. Today so far has been a lot more thinking than actually doing. And included in the thinking is a lot of just staring at the wall, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do my next step. So I'm happy with my furring strips up here. I'm still deciding if I'm going to put furring strips on the other side, I'm not gonna be doing overhead cabinets on that side, just on this side. So depending on the type of walling that I'm gonna use, if I do cladding, AKA shiplap, I might need to do furring strips there. I have decided that I'm gonna box out these windows and where to measure. I just am waiting to go get the right wood for that. So I think it's time to switch gears and I have everything I need to run the electrical wiring. So let's get into that. Now, even though I'm gonna be running my electrical wiring today, which I have been putting off, um, it's gonna be some time until I get my batteries in the back and get my solar on the roof and have actual running power in the van. So in the meantime, I have the perfect solution and I'm very grateful for my Jackery portable power bank. You guys have seen me use this you know how much I love it. And it has become an integral team member on this build so far. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Jackery for partnering up with me and sponsoring today's video. I really couldn't think of a better brand partner to work with because I know that so many of you are outdoor adventure enthusiasts, campers, and people who lead an active lifestyle that can really benefit from having a portable unit of your own. So here, I have the Jackery Explorer 1000. This is the largest power bank that they've made to date. It has a 2000 watt surge and 46 amp hours battery. That's a hell of a lot. On it, it has the three AC plugs, two USB, two USB-C, and the 12 volts, as well as this cool little flashlight. Look how sweet is that? It's just nifty. This whole unit is just 22 pounds. It can double as a weight for exercise or to weigh down camping goods, but either way, it's a pretty compact unit and awesome for what it is, for how much power it can give you. There's three ways to charge a Jackery. First and foremost, which is my favorite, of course, is under solar sunlight. There's two 100 watt solar panels that you can connect together, connect to the machine, and in just eight hours, you can charge from empty all the way to full. As well, if you're a person on the go, you're busy, you forgot to charge it before you go camping, you can plug it into your alternator on your car and charge it as you're driving. And of course, you can always charge it by shore power. I'm really excited to keep building this van and to get on the road and be able to put this to the test in so many other ways, to be blending some smoothies for friends in the future, and to bring it to the beach and to bring it, you know, places that I can't get the van. So. So, so grateful to have this. Thank you again, Jack Ree. If you guys want any more information, it's all in the description below. It's time to uh, stop the lane and start running my electrical wires. So, let's do it. So, Joe, what's your, uh, what are you doing today? I'm hanging up my chandelier. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this an art piece? Flash, do you need a hand or are you good? No, I think I got it. Okay. Well, that'll be Jordan nice. Jordan likes the fact that it's gonna be hanging over a $100,000 van. Yeah. I don't, I don't love that fact. <laughs> Moreover, people working, which is probably more important. Welcome back, it's a new day and we're starting to run the electrical wire. Thrilling so far. If it's exciting, we've done something wrong. Okay, so next up we have the battery to the rear chase to the driver's side. No. There's four, there's the reading light, the water pump, the cabinet lights to switch. Here's the tricky thing with wiring. So we put this through here, comes up around because there's already wiring that I can't move that's from the van. It's gonna go under here. And now we're just deciding if we can go through here to pop up there, come down here. Alien item 
bail you out. Get it. Get it. Oh, go back an inch. Stop. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like, I'm not trying to pull it farther. It's just. Okay, brute force for the win. And we'll put a grommet there. If you were worried about the sharp edges, don't worry. With the grommet. Oh, these are grommets. And you just pop that in right there. So, stop, it's in rubbing on the sheer metal. Beautiful. And that was just the first one. The wire. Yay. You got one! You got a big one! Ah! Don't lose it! Here. Failing one. Okay. okay. Now we're what? Okay, so this is kind of satisfying. So, we're upgrading to my little labeler so that the tape itself is not going to get caught in the wire the whole way down. How cute is that? Okay, how are you gonna do it? Can't be bored. I'm having a walk. <laughs> Patience. Patience. Okay. I had a few comments in the last video about these bunk windows, just to be careful when the door opens that they don't slam. That is definitely a safety concern that we're all aware of. Um, so just have to be careful. And Missy's putting on the covers which is like the outdoor frame because we need to frame around it to match up to the metal here. So I tried with that earlier. The active work in progress, disaster zone. <laughs> but it's starting to become organized. Some cables, some cables, some wires. Okay, so we're running the solar wires from up here. They can go through the roof. They'll come down and then they'll attach the batteries down there. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! It's like fishing. Don't let it get away. It's my fault. Yay! Nice. Good job. Landed a big fish. Yeah. Biggest fish I've ever caught. Okay, solar done. We're done the 110 outlet. 110 for the power charging station. We just ran one 110, didn't we? Yeah, the 110 for the power charging will just go through the bench whenever we decide. Okay, so that'll be later. And then the fridge wire, that's the green one. Nope, no, that's the red and black one. Yeah. Okay. And then the water pump. Yep. Yep. And then this is later because this is battery box. Yeah, that'll come out to the garage here. Nice. So I think we're done for the day. Okay, let's double check. But yes, I agree. <laughs> I guess you're coming in, the box. Kind of a bitch. I inched it. <laughs> okay, so box number two. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so this one's completely my error, but the way that these windows are designed, basically when it's closed, you can't, it sits flush, but when you need to get the screw in, which takes the frame off. So if anything ever happened to the window, it needs to have that much clearance, which just messes up the frame. What do they say? Third time's the charm? It is Jack Pinky. All right, third time's the charm. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it just has to be on the other side of our square. Okay. All right. Cool. Is this take four or take three? This is four. 
a little. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So that will be cool. Great. Right. Perfect. Now the camera died during our last reveal, but the box does fit. And the fun part is that I have to do a second box, the opposite dimensions, upside down, and it's slightly off. So anyway, thank you for hanging out with me as I installed some wiring and did a little bit of the grunt work on the van. Again, I have a new channel called Life With Lee, which is where I'll be sharing my videos from here on out. I'll pop on here once in a while, but I invite you to join me over there. Otherwise, See you next time.